Hey, what's going on guys? It is Chuck here and today in this Firebot tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at currencies, uh, some conditionals and commands, which are basically a little bit more on the complex command side, uh, and some of the chat games. So with that said, uh, if you haven't seen any of my tutorials prior to this and you're new to Firebot, this may be a little, uh, maybe jumping in a little bit too deep. Uh, I'd recommend starting at like a, a, a simple commands or maybe go to complex commands. Uh, today, we're gonna be talking about some stuff that's a little bit more complicated. Um, Firebot is very easy to use. Once you kind of learn it, um, it has a ton of different features. You can do a ton of stuff in it. Um, but uh, with that said, uh, let's jump into Firebot. Alrighty, so I am on the currency tab in Firebot and what we're gonna be doing is creating a new currency. So I'm gonna add a currency and I'm gonna call it points. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. In my stream, I have a couple of different currencies. One is called gold, I have shards. Create as many currencies as you'd like. Um, you can allow transfers or disallow transfers. Uh, you can set how often people are paid out the currency. Um, so default is five points every five minutes if they are in the chat um, and if they are a subscriber maybe they get an extra five points if they're a moderator they don't get anything special uh, if they're in our auto shout out group so this is a special firebot group we made uh, maybe we give them an extra two points per minute whatever you can kind of set this up VIPs get an extra five sure whatever um, so we've got our currency called points so we're going to save our currency and what we want to do is we want to be able to check who our top currency holders are uh, in chat. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to a couple of our viewers uh, and we're going to give a couple of people at random. We're just going to go through this list here and we're just going to add some points. So I'm on the viewer tab. I'm just going to give everyone you're going to have 10 points. Uh, you're going to have just to click on myself again or Applebot. Uh, you're gonna have nine points. Uh, you're gonna have eight points. Uh, seven points. Why not? We'll just keep going through uh, until we have uh, our top ten. Points. All right. So we have our top point holder, which is Applebot, and then we have our lowest point holder, which is Violet's TV, at one point. Uh, this is again just for demonstration. Uh, if you have actual uh, Firebot viewer data, uh, this will auto accrue and just go over time. Um, now people can earn points through multiple different ways. One of the ways that you could earn currency is through games. So there are four built in chat games and we're going to go through each one. Slots are basically a spin game. So you set, uh, if we turn it on, uh, what currency you want to use. If there's a minimum amount that they can bet or a maximum amount, I highly recommend putting a maximum. Uh, or the amount of currency would grow by quite a bit. You get to set what the rate that people ding is. So right now, uh, there are three rolls. Every roll, it will figure out, right now it's a 50-50, uh, to see if they're gonna win. So uh, based on the number of hits, they can get some money. So you can set this multiplier to 0 0.8 if you want them to lose 20% of their money uh, per ding. but Basically, like instead of winning per ding, uh, basically, if you want to have a way where they don't lose everything, if they don't, if they don't get uh, a lot of dings, you can do point des like decimal rates. Um, I would not recommend going below like point uh, six or point five five or something like that, because otherwise you need two dings to be even uh, and not lose your bet. Um, but yeah. And then you can set a cooldown uh, as well as what the chat looks like. So what account is chatting? If you have a bot account set up, it could chat from the bot or from you, the streamer. Um, so this is the slots game. Uh, there's also a heist game. Uh, you can change how the heist game works. Uh, you can even rename the heist game. So in my chat, I call it a fort. Um, and you get to write whatever you want in the game. So you can say, uh, you know, whatever the messages are, uh, you know, everyone check their weapon, get their equipment ready before jumping out of the getaway car. Um, you can set all sorts of things here. And again, you have to choose the currency that you want them to bet. 
Uh, did I not turn that on? I did not. Okay, there we go. Uh, bidding. This lets you, as a streamer, uh, have people bid their currency to do something or get something. So you might use this as a way to decide who will play with you next in the game. So you can use your chat currency as a bit of a queue system. Um, so uh, bidding is really cool. Again, you get to choose which currency runs. Uh, you get to set how long the bid starts before someone wins and what chat looks like. And lastly is trivia. So uh, trivia gets its setup from uh, Open Trivia Database. Uh, again, you get to set your currency, uh, your questions, what these are topics, what difficulty of the questions, uh, true or false, multiple choice, how much time do they have to answer, uh, things like that. So uh, that are those are the four games in Firebot that are pre-built. You can obviously make your own games. Um, I have a couple, actually pretty much every game in my chat is uh, custom made. Um, but you can make uh, you can make all sorts of different. Games. So people have made dual games, uh, battle games. I've remade Heist to do some other stuff. I've remade slots to redo some do some different things. Um, so far about super powerful, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, but now that we have our currency and a way for users to earn currency, we need to make sure that we can figure out who our top currency holders are. So let's go to the commands tab and we're gonna create a command called top. So this is like our top leaderboard. You can do exclamation, whatever. Um, I'm gonna do top. Now that we have our top command, we may or may not want the ability to see all of the people in our top, let's say 10 uh, of our points leaders, or what if we just care about the top three? How do we get it to just show the top three? Let's take a look at what this looks like when we use it for uh, just the top 10. And then we'll take a look at, we're gonna create a new chat effect. So we're gonna add a new effect and we're gonna choose chat uh, because we want the list of gold or uh, point holders uh, to be displayed in chat. So we're gonna hit bars and we're gonna type currency. So this will filter the variables for currency. Uh, so what we're gonna do um, is we're gonna do a top currency as a variable. So you'll see, it gives you a comma separated list of users with the most of a given currency. So we're gonna add this to our uh, chat command, um, top point holders. And we're gonna give it the name of points because that's the name of our currency, we called it points. If we used uh, the name of gold or snacks uh, or uh, gummies, whatever you want to call it, uh, put whatever name your currency is as it appears on the currency tab. That's really important. You might have named it point uh, singular, but in your message, you might call it points and it won't work. So make sure you're double checking that you're, you're using the same name all the way around. Um, so it's exactly as it appears in the currency tab. Perfect. So let's hit save. And let's run our top command. So we'll hit top. So top point holders are Applebot uh, and all these other people all the way down to number one, which is our top 10. So 10 is the number of points Applebot has. If we click on, uh, if we click on Applebot here, we'll see that Applebot has 10 points. Uh, if I change this to be like 15 points uh, and run that command again, uh, you'll see that now Applebot has 15 points. So every time you run it, you get the latest version of this. But if I wanted to say, I just want the top three. Well, we're going to have to change how this works. So that way it respects the fact that we just want the top three. So we're going to go to commands. We're going to go to top. We're going to hit edit. Now we're going to do a couple of things here. The first is that we need to understand whether or not we gave a variable. So we're going to create a conditional. So what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, is, uh, so we're going to type conditional effect. This basically lets you say, if this is true, then do this. Otherwise, do this other thing. And you can have lots of steps. So you can say, if you give it a number of 10, do one thing. If you give it a number of four, give it another thing. Uh, and if you don't give anything, Treat it separately. 
So what we're going to be doing is we're going to make sure that the condition, uh, that the argument that we give it, so that number after the word top, if it's three to 10, uh, we're going to feed that into the uh, command. If it's, if we don't give a number or we give a number that's greater than 10, or if we give a number that's less than three, uh, we're gonna ignore it. So we're gonna say, if argument one, so we're gonna use the custom type here. Now, if we type, we click on this vars, you'll see that there's a common var that's used and it's called arg. So what an argument is, is it's everything that comes after the command itself. So in this case, the command is exclamation top. So if I give anything after it, if I give one number, so top space five, for example, five is argument number one. If I gave it exclamation top five space pizza, pizza would be argument number two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on argument here and we're gonna give it argument one because we only expect for this command, one, we only expect one thing and that's a number. So we're gonna say that if the number you give it is greater than or equal to the number three, so we're saying if it's three, or if argument number one uh, is less than or equal to 10, then what we're gonna do is we are going to create a new variable that we're gonna call our uh, point leader uh, our point leaderboard. So we're gonna have to create our own variable here. Uh, bear with me on this one. So we're gonna search for variable. So you'll see custom variable here. We're gonna call this uh, point leaders. And we're gonna give it the number that we gave it. So if we give it the number five, uh, we're gonna pass number five and store the number five as point leader. So I'm gonna copy point leaders here and we are going to hit add. I'm gonna add a label here. So I like to add labels to especially variables. So I don't have to dig into it to figure out what it is. So I can see that we have our custom variable here called point leaders uh, and uh, we're gonna give it a number. Now we have these conditions that say that if the number that we give it is greater than or equal to three, and less than or equal to 10, we're gonna put the number that you gave it in this variable. But if you give it something that is not within those parameters, what we need to do is we're gonna set the number to 10. So we're gonna show the top 10. This means that if you don't give it a number, you give it the number 11, number one, whatever, uh, it's gonna ignore you and just give you the top 10. So we're gonna copy our variable here and we're gonna paste it under here. Uh, and we're gonna change this. So we're not gonna give it the argument. We're just gonna explicitly define the variable as 10. Cool. So this is our effect. We have to put this above our chat message because otherwise we'll be chatting without knowing what number we're supposed to be displaying in terms of the number of uh, point holders. So we have chat effect here. We're gonna go in. And if we remember when we looked at this top currency, so if we type currency again, you'll see top currency. So it defaults to the top 10, but you can provide a custom number as a second argument. What that means is after our points, we just add a comma and we're gonna give it, you could, I mean, you could hard code this. You could put five. So if you only want the top five, if you want the top 20, uh, you want the top 10. Uh, it defaults to 10, so you can put 12, something like that. In this case, we need to put our custom variable. So let's type custom, we'll see custom variable. Now it's important that you include custom variable and then give it its name. If we just typed the name points leader, point leaders, it doesn't know what to do with that. So we have our points, our custom variable of point leaders, and now let's hit save we're gonna save our top command. Let's go to chat. So again, we're gonna verify. What happens if we type top? Is it gonna show us the top 10? It sure does. 
What happens if we type top five? It shows us the top five point holders. What about top two? All right, it went back to the top 10. How about top 100? Still the top 10. Those are currencies in Firebot. A really, really brief overview of games in Firebot. Uh, taking a look at creating a more complicated chat command than what we've done in the past. Uh, and creating the ability to display in chat your top currency holders. Uh, but make it flexible enough that if you only want the top five to show, someone could add a number afterwards. And if they don't, the command is smart enough to just default back to 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more Firebot tutorials from me, please hit the like button to let me know you're enjoying these and subscribe so that you see these in your subscription feed here on YouTube. Leave a comment down below if any of this did not make any sense or you have a question or I went too fast. Uh, happy to answer questions. I've been answering questions through, uh, through the comments uh, a whole lot. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Peace out, stay classy. I love your faces and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.